Mr. Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another Marvel Legends review. And here we have the, uh, I forgot the name of the armor, but uh, I think it's called the West Coast Iron Man armor. Um, so here's the front of it. Here's the side with the artwork there. I like that. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read the top here, you can. Um, and here's the other side. Here's the top with the Iron Man logo there. And here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. And then here's Iron Man and the packaging. So he has a few accessories here. So he has the two blasting hands here and two fisted hands. These are three. I think I, these are brand new hands here. I'm sorry if you hear a violin in the background, my sister's playing it. Um, but I like the fists here, they look pretty cool. Um, and then he comes with a bunch of blasting effects here. So here's the one that we've seen before, same mold, but translucent, transparent uh, plastic with yellow, which I like a lot instead of like the matte yellow with some white showing up like somewhere uh, like near the end here, I believe that's where it was. But we get two of these guys. And then we get two of these, uh, just regular, I guess, blasting, same deal. Um, and then for these, uh, you want, you get two of these bla other blasting things here where they're wider, like going all over the place. I like this nice mold. Uh, oops, and like it has this little peg thing there in there. And you just wanna plug that in and then bam. And then it comes with like four of these because you could get him to look like he's flying, which I will do too once I build one, and more of those like display stand things for making them look like they're flying. This one does not want to go in, I don't think. Oh, there we go, someone wants to. Oh. Uh, it's a bit of pain, but well. Uh, and then one thing worth mentioning, I like the little cardboard, little background thing that they had in the box there. It kind of looks like uh, Stark Industries, I'm guessing. So that's pretty cool. Um, and here's Iron Man here. Uh, to me, it looks just a little weird. I'll explain why here in a minute. I'm pretty sure you guys already know just by looking at it. But I like the little face here. This is a completely different head mold. Actually, I'll just get right to it. Uh, I don't necessarily like it because neck, like it's not an actual, you know, it's not the same thing. Like usually the neck is just up here and then they have the head on top. I don't know why they did this. And then I think what I've seen, I don't want to break it or anything, but I'm trying to pop the head off. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, so I've seen people trying to switch off, switch the head off with uh, Tony Stark's head, and then it would just look like it, it, he would have no neck because this head piece has the neck included with it. I don't know why they just did that, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I like the look here. The upper torso looks pretty cool. Shoulder pads, so, shoulder pads look really cool too. I like that. Uh, you get this nice red paint going around here. It's just like a little thruster pack, I believe, in the back. They did a really good job in sculpting, I know that. Um, then a like, triangle looking arc reactor there. Uh, I think that's a little, no? Yeah, just a very tiny bit of marbling there, but not a whole lot. Just nice red paint there, just a little bit there too. Not too much. Hands look good. Uh, more, more reflective silver paint. I like the silver that they use for this guy. And then the boots look real cool. A little strip of there. And then you get that. I think we've seen these like uh, boots here. 
but besides that, that's really it. So let's go over his articulation here. So this is gonna be a little bit of a pain, but it's, well, it's not that bad, but you can look down just a little bit like that, mainly because the neck is included. So you can't really look down that much. All right, sorry, my sister and her friend is coming down, uh, but you can look up that far. He, you can get him to look left and right. It kind of looks like a robot when, when you do this. You get some head pivoting or neck pivoting, I, I would say, actually. It looks kind of weird, but oh well. Uh, you get his arms to go out that far, and what you do, you could get him to do 360 rotation because they have the shoulder here, I think, attached to like the, the actual shoulder here. So that way you get to go around all the way. I like that little feature that they added in there. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His uh, wrist can swivel around like that, 360. And then with these hands, you get the hinge. So you get it down that far and then up the same amount. Um, and then for the ab crunch, he could go down that far. Now hold on backwards a bit. Uh, he has a waist swivel, 360 rotation. You get his legs kick out that far forward, pretty good. And then backwards, like, not nah, a lot, but he has an upper thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has no shin cut, surprisingly. I would have thought he would have. Um, then his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So I think it's a pretty cool figure, especially with that like shoulder pad feature that they added in there. Really cool. I just don't know why they decided to do that weird neck thing with his head, I guess. Uh, that's the only problem that I have with it. And I'm not sure about the articulation. I guess the articulation is, I guess, normal for a Marvel Legends figure, except for the head, because the neck is part of the actual, I mean, the neck is part of the actual headpiece. Uh, instead of the actual torso, which kind of messes up the fact that you can sw swap heads because now they they would look like they have no neck. But besides that, I like really I, I like the paint job that they have going on there. That I like the silver and the red going on there. Uh, they did a really good job sculpting. I like the new blast effects uh, where they're translucent and they paint over it to make it actually look like it's actually blasting. And you can put a light through it and it'll actually look like it's lighting up. Um, but besides that, uh, that's all I've got. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page. Well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he... Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I wanna get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.